Hello everyone, my name is Marcin and today I'm gonna show you how to create really simple effect on photos in Photoshop. I really haven't any idea how I supposed to call this effect but but one of my viewers sent me a message about effect about effect using in pre-wedding pictures, especially in uh, Korean pre-wedding pictures and this effect looks really bright, clean and helpful. Of course, I'm sure there is no one way to create such an effect. I think Lightroom would be better for uh, that, but I tried to create this in Photoshop. Anyway, in this tutorial, I'll just show you a few tools you can use to create bright and youthful look. So I hope this so I hope this tutorial will be helpful, and you enjoy that. It's gonna be very quick tutorial, really. I think. I, sh I try to create this uh, effect on three images. Every effect uh, will be a bit different, I think. I start with this one. The model from these images is Facebook from DeviantArt. All credits are in the description if you are interested in. And I do some step uh, before, as you see, because. Uh, it's still working on my old laptop and it isn't so good for Photoshop right now. So as you see, I duplicate uh, my image two times. Uh, the first image I call basic. You can unclick visibility on this one layer and on the other layer I duplicate. I call it brighter. So the first step is change blend mode to screen on this layer and as you see our image is much more brighter right now. If it's too strong change it to maybe 15% of opacity. Take a look. It's much better right now. The, the image looks uh, like a clean and helpful I think. But of course it's not our final result but it's a, our basic step. It's so the next step is selective color. Click the small icon and go to selective color to improve our colors from that image. As you see here we have colors, first color is red. We have uh, some red color on, on the hair, not too much. So you can take some cyan, maybe 25% to make the hair uh, to improve hair, you can add some magenta as well, maybe yellow at 10, but not too much. You can add uh, black as well. A few more colors, for example, yellows. You can add some yellow, as you see, to improve. Greens color, so add some cyan, maybe. Take some magenta, add some yellow, and then I go to whites, and I think I add some yellow color on whites uh, to improve this image, to add some maybe retro look, who knows. Take some blacks. look a bit better for me right now uh, that's how it looks right now so right now we can uh, use other tool for example curves works really good with uh, this effect I think to add some contrast especially take a look it looks much better right now and maybe some blue color But it isn't really necessary. Anyway, as you see, it gives you really nice, clean and youthful look. You don't have to use curves if you don't want to, of course. I just think it's an uh, interesting effect. So uh, the other thing you can add is gradient map at the end. In Photoshop CS6, you have nice photographic tuning gradients. Uh, to load this uh, gradients to your Photoshop, click the small icon, go to photographic tuning gradients 
and then click a paint or OK. I, I already have this, so it's not necessary. And select one of your one gradient, maybe sepia or something different, something like this. Change opacity to 30, maybe even less, I don't know. And you can change uh, blend mode to soft light right now. And that's our that's our effect. I really think it looks interesting. Uh, that's how our image looks before editing, and that's how it looks right now. I think right now it looks really much better. I show you another example. Set first on our layer brighter. Uh, change black mode to screen, of course. Opacity at about fifty. Then selective color, I start with reds, take some cyan, as you see our hair uh, improved right now, add some magenta, yellow as well, then yellow colors to improve grass and flowers, maybe greens, okay. Then you can add curves, of course, if you want, but it isn't necessary. Maybe this time with red. On the shadow part, I take some yellow to make the grass uh, darker and and to improve my grass, of course. And on the highlight part, light part, as actually, I add some red to make it uh, brighter and at the end of course grid map change it to 30% and to soft light and maybe this one type or this one so a soft effect so whatever you prefer maybe this one as you see, this image looks really clean and awful. Uh, the colors are really rich. Take a look, that was our basic image and that's how it looks right now. So thank you guys for watching, leave a comment. If you have any question or any opinion, I always try to respond. And see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.